spoke from the heart and hopefully it, it helps you or means something to somebody or makes uh, something someone's dealing with a little more bearable or gives them some light at the end of the tunnel that's all just like put your head down like all right what next now what do i gotta do what opportunities are there what's my next move i'm totally not allowed to do this what i what i'm getting at is it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me if i uh if i didn't get laid off when i did homie that took over air products and then proceeded to lay me off sure use my salary wisely they got a new building this thing is sweet I think that was a 400. Oh, good. Road closed. Oh, shit. It just flooded. Nice. Of course, I'm going this way. I am not riding through this, but I needed to see it. Oh, god damn. Jeez. That's a little flooded, I'd say. Hey, at least this guy can get that boat right in there and just roll, bro. Wow, that's crazy. Flooded as fuck. Where am I? I'm at you line. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I scared myself like a fucking moron. Am I allowed to do this? I don't think I'm allowed to do this. A horse. Oh, cool. I'm totally not allowed to do this. Let's see where it goes. Told you we're in explore mode today. Let me raise this so you all can see it. Probably get in trouble. I think. I think I should probably turn around. It looks like security. It's all flooded over there anyway. Actually. It's definitely flooded that way. And look like we got some security guards, so we go. Yo, tell me this isn't what the roads look like when you watch videos of people riding in England. They're like, oh, we're ripping this favorite road, and they are literally three feet wide. Boy, if a Karen saw me right now, I'll tell you what. Why is there a stop sign here? What a gay why? Push him tar snakes, boy! You know, this is such a nice and 
industrial area. I don't know if that makes fucking sense. Oh, air products. God damn. This the new building, bro? What? Motherfuckers. That guy that took over air products. Bruh, they have their own street, Air Products Boulevard. Are you kidding me? Homie that took over Air Products and then proceeded to lay me off. Sure, used my salary wisely. They got a new building. This thing is sweet. They got a new building that looks fucking fantastic. They got a street named after them. Well, I'll tell you what. It's goddamn pretty. Wow, nice. Main lobby. I don't think I'm allowed here either. Uh, visitor parking, main lobby drop off. I'm dropping something off. Hey, I got a package. It's in my book bag. I got a package for everybody. This is hell of a building. Oh, I get to see myself in the glass. I never get to see myself in the glass. Look at me. Look at me on a motorcycle. That's pretty cool. Security will surely be out here soon to drop me off. Drop me off. Security will be out here to pick me up, I mean. otherwise and I'm half joking I got laid off and it's sad yes but quick lesson or life life lesson I guess or I don't know what the fuck to call it I'm just gonna talk words I got laid off and at the time it's my mentality was F it I'm gonna figure it out it sucks it's depressing it's sad and uh, you're like shit I thought I had a secure situation here and I don't and that's life, man. Especially nowadays, people get laid off all the time. So, um, what I what I'm getting at is, it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. If I uh, <clears throat> if I didn't get laid off when I did, I wouldn't I wouldn't have this channel or this bike right now. Like everything would be different. I know. I it's hard to say. Nice, the Repsol 250. I like it. It's always tough to uh, predict what would have happened and could have happened if things go differently or change or whatever. But what I can confidently say is that I would be, I would not be in the position I am now, and I'm currently in a blessed spot. Now it's because of how much I, I worked. I busted my ass and worked my ass off. But um, if I didn't get to the new company that I'm at now, like life, who knows what life would be. You know, we've had our challenges. It hasn't been all peaches and cream and, and perfect. What's it? Peaches and rainbows? I don't know. It hasn't been perfect. Let's put it that way. Even after the layoff, even with things being good. But I got into a different company where there was not just less chance of getting laid off, but room to grow. Where you, where you work your butt off and put the effort in that I do when it comes to my endeavors. I always put in a lot of effort and quality, detail-oriented, and focused. I know that's what it says on everybody's resume, but I actually live that uh, when it comes to my work life. <clears throat> I wouldn't be at this company where there's room for growth. I was able to work my way up into a quality position, then the quality lead, then I got to the point where I had two departments bidding over me and fighting over me, even though technically, internally, you're not supposed to do that, but I had two separate departments that both wanted me. For one for a supervisor role and one for that I applied for for a product specialist engineering role and now I'm in that product specialist and uh, moving up and I've learned through that process that I hate the corporate world and I don't want to do it it's a good job and I have it so I'm gonna do it until I don't have to uh, or until maybe I get into something else full-time maybe this does well eventually and you know it's our pipe dreams now but um, I love doing this riding obviously who wouldn't but also uh, filming 
coming up with ideas for videos. Like I'm barely started. I'm just getting to the point where I can put together a visually and audibly bearable video. I was gonna use the word appealing, but I'm gonna be a little modest. And uh, I freaking love every minute of it. I can't imagine this turning into feeling like work. Um, I mean, it will eventually, I'm sure, if I get into it enough. But like, anyway, long story short, all I want to say is I got laid off and it sucked and someone might be watching this going through the same thing <clears throat> and if you are just that was eight nine years ago when one door closes another door opens statement or philosophy is so true like whether you're religious or not like uh, sometimes I'd say God sometimes I'll say the universe I don't know I hate to be one of those people that says I'm spiritual but not religious but um it's true I do think there's something I don't know what but there's something but it just feels like there's always a plan and there's you just gotta not dwell on shit and not let yourself get sucked into the moping and like oh, woe is me and pity and uh just like put your head down like all right what next now what do I gotta do what opportunities are there what's my next move just focus on that and Whatever happens, most of the time happens for a reason. I'm not talking about tragic things, but I'm talking about life's obstacles. The ones that we always deal with, that we all have. And it's all relative, so your obstacle may be more severe than what mine was or significant to you, but it doesn't mean it has less or more of an impact, because again, it's all relative. So it might not feel so big, to you saying, oh, it's just a layoff. I wish a layoff is the only thing I was dealing with. And you, you know, if you're that person, then I'm sorry for what you're going through. But and you're partially right. It could always be worse. Uh, just keep that mindset and just know shit happens for a reason. And it will work out as long as you're not, you know, pitying yourself. Just stay focused, stay in the grind. Me getting laid off is the best thing that ever happened to me. And hindsight, I almost felt that at the time, I gotta be honest. I thought, you know what, there is no future here. Me and my buddy were talking about it. There's no future at this place. Like, what am I gonna get out of here anyway? It's just, it was, I thought, to be a secure job that was well paying. But there was nowhere to go. You know, there's no advancement, there's no growth, no learning opportunity. If you're good with staying in that position, there's nothing wrong with that. I gotta stress that. There's nothing wrong with staying in a position where you're just steady pay support and take care of your family and your loved ones and live the life you want to live that's absolutely like a wonderful thing to be in but if you want to like challenge yourself to do more and learn and like grow and get better at things then that place I was working at was not the place for that and that's my mentality so I uh, I knew at the time this is probably for the best but I didn't know why or how I just had to have some faith that that's the case or that I'm not lying to myself. And it turned out to be true. It took a little while, but I got to a job. Not a while. It took a few months for me to get a better job. I did some side work on my own to survive. Got by. And my girlfriend picked up the slack big time. She was awesome. Having a partner that you love and can rely on for shit like that is huge too. But even if you're by yourself, man. Yeah, so there's going to be challenges, there's always going to be obstacles, and it's, at the time it's hard to see how this can work out for you, or how, how this could be a positive thing, but I guarantee you, it's the same way on the other side of it. Nothing is ever as bad as it seems like it's going to, anytime I've ever had a situation where I'm stressing about talking to somebody about something, or doing a certain thing, always go through the like ideas in your head and the scenarios and you play out like how it's going to go down and your brain just has this uncanny ability to always come up with the worst case scenario outcome your brain always seems to come up with like like this is going to be so bad no matter what and you got to start realizing like once you start realizing like that's your brain tricking you and like it's never going to be as bad as you think it's going to be. Generally speaking, that's the case. Like, that makes such a difference. 
and it's and it, like I said, it works that way both ways. So once you go through something like a layoff or you know whatever else it may be, it's never going to be it's it's going to be okay. It's never as bad as you think it is. And in hindsight, you'll realize eventually, like, oh man, that actually was the best thing for me, or it led me to meet this person I would have never met otherwise, or it led me to look into this career path that I would have never even considered, or it forced you to reevaluate and change directions and start doing something you're passionate about, and then you're like, you know what, I'm sick of doing shit that I don't like doing just for a paycheck that, you know, the government takes most of. Start doing that for yourself then. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna work every day, I might as well work for myself if you can. Like, to, you know, I'm not saying you get laid off, start a business. I'm just I'm just speaking out loud here and rambling. I'm trying not to script too much. I didn't even plan on talking about this today, but coming across that Air Products building just gave me a flashback, and like, it makes you makes you think, like, man, like, look how far look how far I've come since then. So there's a lot of things I can do to improve, but can't do it all at once bite off one at a time like I talked about in my other video you can't divide your forces and expect to conquer anything you need to focus on one thing focus your efforts in an area that you want to improve on I should say just get better at it always improve even if you're doing incremental improvements you're getting better and it ends up showing in results it might not seem it each day you're going through it but you stop stop for a little bit you put your head down you don't look back and you realize like oh wow look at how much i've done look how far i've come like going back and watching my old youtube videos this is not even i haven't even been doing this for a year so when i say my old videos i just mean they were a few months ago but even in those few months like the difference in, in quality though not where it needs to be yet by any means i'm not saying that it is but it's night and day it didn't feel like that at the time like when you don't see somebody for a long time or you don't you see see somebody every day like you suddenly when you don't see them for a long time you suddenly see them you're like oh shit you really changed you really grew and then such slow incremental growth each day you don't recognize it i don't even know what i'm saying right now i do know what i'm saying but i'm not wording it in the best way i was supposed to literally be doing a test footage i'm not talking sounds so good doesn't she i think she sounds good i know people make fun of you i know people make fun of the 400 but i think you sound great don't listen to those people if you're a lawnmower you're the damn best lawnmower ever anyway that's my inspirational video for the day totally unplanned and unintended but uh, again Sometimes something just sparks your mind and makes you remember some past experiences. And I'm sure when I watch this back, I'm going to be like, oh man, why didn't I plan this out? If I planned this out, I could have said this clever thing or this great piece of advice. And uh, So that's probably happening right now while I'm watching it back. Uh, but whatever. I just spoke from the heart. and uh, Not to be cringy about it, but I just spoke from the heart and hopefully it, it helps you or means something to somebody or makes uh, something someone's dealing with a little more bearable or gives them some light at the end of the tunnel, that's all. Uh, all right, on that note, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think of this. Ooh, that was a fucking ramp. It wasn't even a speed bump. <sighs> Let me know what you think of this. Uh, don't take your hands off the handlebars. My girlfriend said, stop talking with your hands while you're riding. And that's why, because there's shit in the road and you're on a motorcycle and you need both hands. And she's right. Anyway, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate everybody that watches. Hopefully the audio is, God, I hope the audio is usable because I just had a couple really good, some dimes, I had some good dimes that just dropped off the top. And if it's unusable, that is gonna be very sad, but We'll deal with it and we'll fucking film again and keep doing it until we figure it out. So if it is usable, thank you for watching. And uh, I, like I said, let me know what you think of the, the audio and the video. And uh, if it's not usable, well, shit. 
I guess we'll just have to do this again. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. Have a good one. If you ride, please ride safe, and if not, don't do anything stupid. <laughs>